beautiful morning in the Tennessee hills. Well, it's the first hunt up here on the ridge beyond the house in Tennessee. Uh, it's been pretty uneventful. I haven't seen much, uh, except for some squirrels, a few birds. Uh, I wasn't expecting a lot. I haven't been getting a lot of pictures on the trail cams that I have around the woods and the pasture here. Uh, earlier in the season, I was getting quite a few pictures of a group of does and a few fawns and several small bucks. But since the rut kicked in, I haven't been getting much anything. A couple pictures of some small bucks, and they're all nocturnal. But I really wanted to get in here and hunt the property. You know, the rut's winding down. It's late November. And I did find a scrape up on the pasture at the far end of the ridge up there. So I got in here on the ridge uh, down on the night. But for all I know, I've got the wind wrong. I've never hunted back in here before. So it's going to take a little bit of a learning curve to figure out what these deer are doing back here. There's another reason I wanted to get out here this morning, in particular though, and that's the reason I had the orange on. It is the opening day of the general uh, firearm season here in Tennessee, and I wanted to listen, because I have no idea if the neighbors bordering our property hunt or not. Uh, you know, they're big lots. I haven't met everybody yet. I've met the neighbors in the immediate vicinity but I don't know if the guys back over here hunt or the guys back on the other side of that 60 acres hunt so I wanted to listen and I actually only heard three shots this morning and they were at distance half a mile or more off so either the guys that border this land don't hunt or they didn't see the buck they wanted to shoot but uh, I think I'm going to call it a morning I've been hunting the wind going up and down the ridge this morning. My next hunt, I think I may hunt a crosswind. See if that makes a difference. There's a lot of deer season left, but I'm kind of glad I didn't see a deer this morning because after our trip to Maryland, I don't know that I could squeeze another deer in the freezer right now. Good Lord. But uh, still, I, I was anxious to get back here and hunt the property. So that's it was the last opportunity I had to hunt the open portion of the deer season this past year. Now it's the middle of February and it's right cold out here this morning. But deer season is still on my mind. And what I'm doing out here this morning is I'm going to take a shot at frost seeding a stand of clover. Uh, we've got some hogs on camera out here in the pasture and they're doing some damage. You can see behind me, they are rooting up quite a bit of land and I'm probably going to have to end up doing something to get rid of them. But I got to thinking, this area here has been torn up so badly that uh, it's almost like it's been tilled. It's open ground, there's not a lot of thatch on it, so I'm thinking frost seeding would be a good way to try to get started with the food plot. Now this is pretty standard practice. The way I understand it is, I'm not an expert on it by any means, but uh, what I understand is that you just spread the seed out here and as the ground freezes overnight, it heaves and then as it thaws during the day, it opens back up and becomes moist and that causes the small clover seed to settle down into the ground so when temperatures warm up enough for it to germinate, it starts growing and it, that can actually help suppress weed growth too. Now I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I went out and I got me this Whitetail Imperial Clover mix. Uh, it's all ready to go. All you need is to go through here with a seed spreader and this is enough to cover a half an acre. So I'm going to do this back area of the pasture here and get that planted in this 
and we're going to see if it's going to work or not. If it works, it'll be great. If if not, I will be out here this spring with my new Ventrac properly planting some other food plots to try to get this place going. But for now, I thought I'd try frost seeding. Well, this is all there really is to it. You just walk around with a hand spreader and spray the seed. Uh, I hope it comes in and gives me a nice, nice food plot of clover back here. We'll see if it works. If you want to see if it works, make sure you click our logo and subscribe to the channel here, Sharing the Outdoors on YouTube. And I'll keep you updated as time moves forward on how this does and how the rest of the acreage gets improved with food plots. Hopefully, next year when I'm hunting a property, I'll be able to take my first deer on my own land. Chilly. Huh. Should have worn gloves. You know, frost seeding this hog damage isn't all I'm going to be doing to prepare for next fall and deer season. I'm going to be doing some serious scouting. February, March, right after the season ends, is one of the best times to scout for next deer season. So I'm going to be getting up here on the property and taking a good hard look at the sign. Maybe offer you a few tips. Maybe I'll find a better place to put my stand for next year. So that frost seeding experiment, that's not all I'm going to do here in February to try and prepare for deer season. February, right after the season ends, middle of winter, is one of the best times to get out and actually scout for deer. Look for old sign. Uh, the foliage is down. You can see the lay of the land real well. Uh, the old rubs and scrapes show up. You can look for sheds. Now, I've only found one shed on the property so far this year, but I'm not going to stop looking for them. I'm going to be right out here covering ground, see if I can find them. What I did today was I came up along an old rub line from the rut this year, and I was hoping to maybe find a shed. One dropped if he was still using that track up and down the hill there, but no luck. Uh, I'm also going to place a trail camera way back here at the end of that rub line way back in the woods and this is going to be a long-term trail camera I'm going to put a big memory card in it and just leave it out here for a month come back and reclaim it and see if any deer are still using that travel route where that rub line is just to get an idea whether it's a active travel route or it was just one that the bucks were using during the rut and I'm also trying to establish a salt lick I'm going to throw down a uh, rack rock and some deer cocaine that helps the deer gather minerals to grow those big racks that you want to see from stand when the season is open. I also when plan to when growing season starts I'm going to get out our vent rack and put in some proper food plots. So yeah we have a lot of plans Dana and I on how we're going to be working through this winter and into spring to improve this property for deer hunting. So, I guess the answer to the question I posed was, deer season never really ends. But it's not open right now. Right now, I'm going to go do some fishing. <laughs>